Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 17, Homework. Number 1, draw to create a figure that is symmetric about line DE. So, we want to basically reflect figure DGFE about line DE. So it's going if, as if we folded our piece of paper in half and drew the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm going to start by measuring GD and it is two inches. So what I'm going to do is measure two inches to the other side. So I'm going to put my ruler against line side GD of the figure and then I'm going to draw two more inches across. Right there. Now I need to figure out how to reflect point F. So what I'm going to do is create a perpendicular line that goes through point F and DE. So I'm going to just kind of eyeball it here. So I'm going to do some dotted lines and then we can measure in a minute. So I'm going to measure from point F to line DE. And when I measure that, it's about one and three fourths inches. So this is one and three fourths inches. So now I'm going to measure from here, where this is perpendicular, and I'm going to measure one and three fourths inches away from the line, which will get me right there. So now I can just connect the points and I have a symmetric figure. Number two, draw to create a figure that is symmetric about line LM. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go from point P and I'm going to create as a line that says perpendicular to line LM that I can. Okay, so that line is about one and one fourth inch. So from there, I'm going to measure another one and one fourth inch about that line that I just drew. I'll end up right there about. And then I'm going to measure from point O. So this is about one fourth an inch here. So I'm going to extend it a fourth of an inch on the other side. there. And then I'm going to create a, a perpendicular line from line N. And that's about one inch long. So I'm going to measure f away from it one inch and about right there. So now I'm going to connect the points. And there is my symmetric figure.
Number three, complete the following construction in the space below. Place three non-collinear points, G, H, and I. So it could be anything. I'm going to draw, uh, put G, H, I'll do I over here. So G, H, I. Draw a line G H H I and I G. So it's saying that notice how it has the little arrows on the end for I G. So I G is gonna go, it's a continuous line. So it's gonna go all the way through. G H has endpoints, so it is just like that. And H I also is not continuous. All right, so yours probably looks a little bit different. That's okay, we're gonna follow the same steps. Plot point J and draw the remaining sides such that quadrilateral GHIJ is symmetric about line IG. So I'm just going to create a perpendicular line like we did before. And I'm going to measure it. So when I measure mine, it is mine's about a little over half an inch. So I'm going to extend it that far. To right there. So this is point J. And all we need to do now is draw the remaining sides. And there it is. Yours might look differently based on what your, where you place your first collinear points, non-collinear points. In the space below, use your tools to draw a symmetric figure about a line. So let's, uh, I'm gonna place, let's do four points. Okay, so our line will be through here. So let's call this A, B, C, D, E. And I'll connect A and B, and then B and C. C, D, and D, E. Now we need to reflect that on the other side. So I'm going to draw a perpendicular line from B. to line AE. I'll do it for C. And for D. Okay, now all I have to do is reflect those points. So, oops, I'm going to measure from B to the perpendicular point. And mine, since we all drew different ones, ours are always all going to be different lengths. So measure it and reflect it on the other side.
then go ahead and connect your points. And there we have it. So I'm just going to label these this point F, G, and H.